All right, so there's a lot going on here by the stump, but uh, the main plant I want to talk about right now is this one. And um, you can tell it's kind of favored by this area. You know, this plant is being used. It looks like caterpillars are eating here and here. And this leaf, you can really see some munches taken out of it from the caterpillars. And then something else is eating the tops. Um, I would guess deer, although honestly I'm not sure, but from the height and everything. And if you look, there's even a little vine, honeysuckle, that's using, you know, the lopped off pokeweed. So just the, the usefulness for the nature around it is really incredible of this plant. And um, the Latin name for this plant is Phytolaca americana. Here's a stalk from uh, last year, if you can try to get that, Teresa. So you can get to know these dead stalks where you can recognize them with pretty, uh, pretty good confidence that this is an old pokeweed stalk. Um, Indian poke or pokeweed are two colloquial names for this. Um, pokeweed's kind of a hard one for me to, to say what I, like, how I know it's pokeweed. Um, it's one of the only plants I know of that is known for edibility, um, medicine, and being poisonous. It's all three. <laughs> So I look for this big, stout stem. It feels kind of juicy, almost like a uh, jewelweed stem, if you're familiar with that. And it's reddish. It's often reddish. Um, here you can see it again. And the red will go into the leaves right there. So you can see that at the base of the leaves as well. Um, the best time to gather it is when it is under knee height. So you can see this one's getting a little old. Um, the chemicals in it that can make it poisonous start getting stronger when it gets higher than that. But you can take a pokeweed and pop it right off, break it right off. I'm not going to break this one right now because we're not going to eat it. But you can take the whole top, break it right off, like I said about knee height, and boil it in a pot of water um, for a little while, let the water turn kind of reddish. Pour it out, put more water in, and boil it and dump it a few times. And by a few, I mean three to five. You know, if you try it three times, go ahead and try a little bit and see what your sensitivity is. If you feel kind of, it's a strong plan. If you feel at all bad from doing that, try it five times. Um, but it is a great pot herb. You can collect a lot of this really quick and have a lot of cooked, steamed um, plant material to eat. And it's really good with butter. Um, and pokeweed is that plant that it can go get my height. It's like, can get really big. And it has those small, dark berries that kids will often, like, throw at each other. <laughs> They'll stain your fingers purplish, reddish, kind of magenta. Those berries, um, I've been told, are a really strong medicine for cleansing you out. So the way I was taught to eat it was to take a berry and swallow one. Try not to chew it. Just swallow it like a pill. Then the next day, you swallow two. The next day, you swallow three, up to seven. And then the day after you take seven, take six. Then the next day, five. It's like a two-week treatment. And it's said to be really good to flush you out. Be careful not to chew it. It's the seeds that are the most poisonous part. So people will make like a, oh, do you know what that, like poke pie or something? Have you heard of that, Teresa? No, actually, I haven't. But people use the berries to eat, but they're just really careful to take the seeds out. Mm. So it's the seeds you got to be careful of. Um, I've even heard, if you look here, you've got these young leaves. I've heard you can eat the leaves off of even a big plant, although this is debatable. Some people say don't do it. I've done it and have yet to be hurt. Um, but if you look for leaves that don't have red in them yet, see this one? I don't see a trace of red there. Here, I start seeing a trace of red. I see. So that might be too old. The chemical's getting too strong. But here, still young. So maybe I could pinch that off and cook it, steam it. Um... And yeah, like I said, I guess I mentioned the poisonous aspect, the medicinal aspect, that uh, there's probably a lot more that can be said, but that's all I know of it from the top of my head. There's a lot of beautiful plants here. Look at this cow vetch. Yeah, we've got the Japanese honeysuckle. we got chickweed. whole patch of chickweed growing around here. Can you show the Japanese honeysuckle again? Japanese honeysuckle is this one with the opposite leaves. Hmm. And of course, poison ivy on top of this stump. <laughs> Are there any lookalikes or anything that 
Well, like I said, this is kind of a, this one I think takes practice. And look this up in a field guide. Look it up and find out what other people say are the field marks, the identifying marks. But right here is one that if you're just starting could be confusing. This is a type of a wing stem or yellow crown beard. But for a beginner, you know, you might confuse that. But if you look, that stem is not really stout like this one. Big stout stem. This one has a little narrower stem. It's got wings on it this plant, and the leaves, like this is big and untoothed. This is smaller, feels rough. This is smooth. This feels rough and has little teeth on it. Hmm. So if you go back to this pokeweed leaf, pet poke, pokeweed leaf, Phytolaca americana, it's smooth. It's really nice, smooth. It feels good, good feeling leaf. So is there anything else you want to add to that, Teresa? Um, sometimes, uh, like I've heard people talk about poke salad. It's not poke salad, but it's no. Like... That used to confuse me too. It's not poke. It's not poke salad because you want to cook this. It's poke salad. Yeah. And it is the cooked pokeweed that I just described. Mm -hmm. And another really cool thing about pokeweed, and I've experimented with this, is you can pluck every pokeweed. Like if there was, you know, one, two, three, these three, and I wanted all three. I could pluck off the tops when they're under knee height, mm -hmm. and they will grow back really quick. So as far as uh, gathering this plant, um, the caretaking is a little bit different. It will actually help them grow when you gather them. They'll keep growing back. It replenishes itself. It's like having a garden. And to clarify, when you say pick off the top, now when you put it in the pot, are you taking the leaves off of the stalk? No, you can boil the whole top as long as it's under your knee height. I see. And when I say the top, I mean if I grab this and just broke it right at, a, at the ground, mm -hmm. the whole top. Ah, I see, okay. But wow. the other way I was describing, if you have a bigger plant and want to try the leaves, then you can like get the leaves that don't have red on them mm -hmm. from a bigger plant. Cool. But like I said, any plant I talk about, look it up yourself. You know, look it up in a field guide, check it out. In case nice. I'm forgetting anything. Nice. Let me get a shot of the uh, poke from this angle before we... Do you have anything else you wanted to add? I think that's it for me. Well, thank you, pokeweed and surrounding beans. Honeysuckle and chickweed and poison ivy. Really cool.